What's up, Buck fans? Today we get to talk about something different. The Buccaneers got their first free agency signing, and that is running back Giovanni Bernard. I love the stash. He shaved it for the Buccaneers, but I mean, let's take a peek at what his season was. 416 yards, three touchdowns. What we're really going to look at, 47 catches for 355 yards. So well-rounded in that aspect. And like, Get a good look at him putting pen to paper. Brilliant smile. Love, gotta love it. But let's get to the tape. That's what you guys are here for. So let's talk about it. Plus, you'd be the first thing to talk about what he does best. Yeah, it's catching the football. I mean, he he understands how to run routes too. Like this guy is very dynamic. I mean, that's a good uh, Texas route, they call it, or angle route. But it's just a natural hands catcher. Um, and that's what Giovanni provides. I mean, he's what the Bucks exactly needed uh, to their backfield. And again, it's giving the options for your quarterback, being able to catch it in traffic, make something happen after the play. And that's, uh, that's what you want from uh, your third down running back. What I love is the shake and bake, though. I mean, yeah, we, we don't necessarily have this. Now we do. I mean, this is a Tom Brady love affair probably right here. I mean, we all know how much he loves running backs. Now he has a running back in this stable that can catch consistently. I mean, 47 catches, you saw that. Well-rounded type of guy. We're not going to ask him to run the ball, but we're going to ask him to do this especially. Now look where he's lined up here, out, out wide or in the slot. But still, check out the route. Check out the diversion. I mean, imagine B.A. learning or Leftwich trying to use this in his offense. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's uh, it's awesome to have someone like this where you can exploit matchups. Again, a running back on a linebacker or safety, that's a win usually. And you can get this guy out in the space and just quick catch here, turn it upfield. I mean, he's so natural with the, you know, the football as far as catching. And you can just see it in his body movements as here, just nice little turn back to the football again, going upfield. So really nice. And I, I think he's the perfect fit for what the Bucks want to do. You said it best natural. There's no wasted movements going with the flow of the <laughs> ball, just going with momentum. And from years past, I mean, first year under BA, we saw Dare. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the last name, trying to run this route. And how many times were, you're either picks, pick six, or just a pick in, in general, and just didn't convert. I get a guy that looks like he's more natural doing it consistently, and I'm very happy, very happy with the signing. We go more. What can he do well? Catch the ball. Getting that in, in the screen game. Knowing what to do after you catch the ball, get downfield. I mean, just elusive. These are things you really, really like. And then also, again, in the slot, coming across the field for end rounds. What do you like? Yeah, it's his versatility. Like you're showing here, again, he can do multiple things, whether it's the screen game, end of rounds. Um, he can be that change of pace type of running back and really, um, you know, be almost an X factor for your offense. And it's just another weapon that, you know, these defenses have to prepare for. Um, you know, when we're not running the football with Rojo or Leonard Fournette, you know, you have Geo to come in there and really provide a different element. And uh, it's it's really exciting to see what he can bring. Yeah, it's still more catching the ball. But also think about this. We can use him as a slot receiver, hell, just to spell Scotty Miller and put him in those screen game situations. Put him, I mean, those are, that's a nice set of hands. Look at that. Hands catch, immediately gets his head up field, turns around, picking up yards where, let's be honest, guys, I know there's a whole bunch of Rojo lovers, Rojo sometimes would bobble that, stumble around, and then this guy has more time to get down and make a play on the ball. He gets it so fast and naturally, he's getting upfield, picks up another 10 yards. Really nice, something you want to have in this room. I mean, just natural again, more hands catch. That's all I'm just kind of exclusively talking about because that's what he's here for. But he's also running back, so let's also touch on that. We didn't just <laughs> sign a, a wide receiver here. Now, talk about his run game. What does he bring? Yeah, he brings some toughness. He brings, again, he's, uh, he's he understands where to go as far as vision. Um, and, again, he's not going to try to do more than, you know, what he's capable of, which is very nice. So he's a smart, effective runner. Again, that's why I think he's, he would be a very good change of pace type of back, um, someone that you can bring in from time to time to run the football. He's not going to be your every down, like three down back, but he can just do different things from, you know, getting upfield, getting as much as possible, being a tough, you know, runner here again, seeing he's not going to win outside. He's going to cut it back inside and, and does a nice job of getting into the end zone. So I think he's a very effective runner. Yeah. Like you said, he's more of a speedy back, more I guess shifty speedy back. But the thing is he can also stop on a dime cut inside. So he's not going to be ever 
known for pounding it down in the big boys over there and trying to truck through someone. It's not going to happen. But he's going to use what he has, like you said, pick up as many yards as he can. And he's just efficient. He's a veteran. And he's, he's been able to do it in the league for since 2013. So, I mean, it's, it's doing pretty good. So, check him here now running inside game. Massive hole. Yes, I know, guys, it is a massive hole. But he's still beating everyone in here. And then he cuts it back outside. It's not just giving away to the hole immediately. Then he can make someone miss in the open field. Really like that. What do you see? Yeah, same thing. It's just, you know, being a patient runner, uh, setting up the the blocks to where he needs to go. Like he already knows where he's going to go. He sees the hole, but it's just setting it up a little bit more and then cutting it back at the right time. So just uh, very effective and efficient here. Kind of same thing, you know, just setting it up um, where he kind of baits the the linebacker here. You know, possibly he could go to the right and run it up there, but he's going to stop and, and cut it and be a patient enough runner where he could get more yards downhill. So, again, that's what I talk about when he's just a smart, effective, very efficient. He knows what his skills are, and he's not going to try to be something he's not. Yeah, it's just setting up blocks as well. Like you mentioned, patient, smart, a veteran type of player. That seems like a perfect fit. We'll see once the season comes around. I mean, there's so much talent in this not just in the running back room, but in the team in general. But he brings a little bit of everything, like inside move again, bounces back outside, ability to break a little bit of a tackle, keep going upfield. But now let's check him out in the pass protection. I mean, this is B.A. going to ask all of his running backs to do well at this. If they don't, we all know what happens to Rojo when he doesn't do well. He gets kicked out of the game. But just check him out here, picking up a blitzer. What do you like? Yeah, I feel like this is going to be his biggest impact for our team, to be honest. It's not just the catching, but it's the pass protection. And we saw last year where pass protection from our running backs hurt us at times, and it cost us, you know, whether it be a turnover or what have you, or sack. So Geo's ability to really, you know, square up these guys, I mean, how he gets low and balanced here, as you see, again, just doing just enough uh, to, you know, allow his quarterback to make the make the throw, so... I, I feel like this will be his like bread and butter for our team. This is what he'll be called upon to do uh, because he's really good at it. Yeah. I mean, give this credit. I mean, look how low he is. I mean, low man wins leverage and then he pops this guy just enough to allow the quarterback to unleash. Quarter, wide receiver just got to come down with that ball. And then one more for good measure, picking up a gap blitz. Just, I mean, this is it meeting at the point of attack, stand him up, let the guy throw the ball. I mean, he does a little bit of everything. He's not a power guy, to be honest. He doesn't do any of that. But boy, can this guy catch the ball. Can he pass block? Just get the quarterback enough time to deliver a ball. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoy the content. Make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. If you're a Bucks fan, if you're any fan of football, go ahead and do that. Comment your opinions. Do you like the signing? Let us know. Until the next one.